Flag raised, and they're off for the Unibet Summer Plate. And as they break away on the inside, it is Tardry, who has claimed the early lead to Cortland. He's also racing forward, so too he's hanging there, and towards their outside is Fix at All as they go into the turn. The mare born famous at the moment is last of the field of 14 as they make the slightly uphill run towards the first of the 14 fences and the back straight. The leader, and an easy lead at the moment for Tardry and Sam Twist and Davis. They've gone on now by the best part of two and a half lengths to hang in there, racing in second position. Then to the inside rail, and the new is now in third. Cortland in fourth, fix it all racing in fifth position as they go over the first fence, and they are all safely over. The two Irish Raiders, both a little slow over that fence, broken ice pushed away from it, and also Railway Hurricane racing towards the rear of the field with Born Famous slightly detached. They go over the first of the four open ditches in the race, and Tardry has got the lead going over the first of them, and they're all safe. So it's Tardry out in front by three lengths to Hang In There, who now races in second. To the inner, and the new is just in third as they go over another plain fence, the third one taken down the back straight, and now quite a short run before they go over fence number four, which is the second of the open ditches. Tardry comes to it, a lead of three lengths. Hang In There took it in second place. And then in third to the inside is And The New, racing alongside Fix At All. And then out quite wide is is Glore Daton, who is racing now in fifth position. On that one's inside is Cortland, who is in sixth. Frankie de Berlay, the dual winner, is in seventh. Last year's runner up, that is La Domanial, is racing next. Then towards the inside is Railway Hurricane, who's stolen one or two places midway down the back straight. Next is St. Arvins, as they now be begin to make the descent with Killer Clown racing in the last third of the field, but racing in advance of Chief Black Robe as they make the turn in. Last of the main body of the field is Broken Ice, and Born Famous is still some way out of the ground at the back of the field. Three plain fences as they make the run up the home straight. This is fence number five, and a mistake there in second by Hang In There, and that was a significant blunder. The leader, however, is Tardry as they go now on towards the next, which is fence number six. Tardry leads, Hang In There took it in second position, and again, they're all safely over. Racing in a very close third towards the inside is And The New as they go over what will be the final fence in one more circuit in the Unibet Summer Plate. And it is Tardry who has got the lead. Hang in there is racing in second. And the new is in third and fix it all, racing in fourth. Towards the wide outside, Glaude Daton is racing in fifth. The golden green hoops of La Dominale is next, followed by Cortland. After Cortland, towards the outside, racers Chief Black Robe, who's trying to steal one or two places. Frankie de Belay is right up against the inside rail. He's racing in midfield, alongside Killer Clown as they go around that turn. St. Arvins is next. Then towards the inside, Railway Hurricane who once again has lost one or two places in the last quarter of a mile. His stable mate, Broken Ice, is being pushed along and Born Famous has never lived with the main body of the field. She's still uh, detached by about five lengths as Tardry takes them over the first fence down the back straight. They are all safely over. The lead, however, is only two lengths to hang in there, racing in second and the new to the inside in third as they go through the dip. Racing in fourth is Fix at All as they go now towards another open ditch, fence number nine. And it is Tardry who will lead them over the ditch. Jumps it well by a couple of lengths. Hanging there was over in second position. And then Fix It All and And The New. And then Glaude Daton on the outside of Cortland and Frankie de Belay. Followed next by La Dominale as they go over the penultimate fence taken down the back straight. A new back marker. Railway Hurricane has now dropped back to last and been driven. Born Famous is now last but one. Four out is the final open ditch and the final fence taken in the back straight. And still many chances here with Tardry and Sam Twist and Davis still holding the lead to hang in there. He's racing in a very close second and now with the help of the inside will come through to dispute the running. Pushed along on the outside is Glaude Daton now in a share of third with Fix at all in the orange and black quarters. And then the Boeing pair, Cortland and Frankie de Belay who has a seam right up against the inside rail and travelling well. Then the mayor, La Dominiale is next in the field. Out very wide is Chief Black Robe from a 
long, long way back. St. Arvins is trying to pick up. So too is Born Famous as they now race on towards the third from home. Plain fences from here. And the leader now is hanging there towards the inside. This the fence where he made a bad mistake on the previous circuit. He led there by a couple of lengths to Glaudaton. On the inside is Cortland and Gavin Sheehan, the red and yellow. Towards the outside, Chief Blackrobe is also now on the scene. From a long way back, Born Famous has now loomed to hold every chance. They're racing down towards the final fence in the summer plate. Three in line. Cortland over on the far side had the lead. Born Famous towards the near side. Back in third is hanging there. They've got another 100 yards to go. On the near side, Born Famous has a nose in front, racing up towards the line. Born Famous from last to first to take the summer plate to Cortland in second. Hanging there in third. In fourth came Chief Black Robe and then St. Arvins. It's still the month of July, but we have a, a genuine Ride of the Year contender with Harry Compton, born famous. Good bit of placing, however, Ian Jardine, but surely halfway if you pulled it up, there wouldn't have been a word said? Probably not. Um, you know, I, I spoke to Ian beforehand and, and Conor of Howell, who normally rides there. And, um, he dislocated his shoulder, so didn't he? That's right. So they, they filled me with confidence. Um, Ian wasn't quite sure how well she would travel stepping up into this grade. We went very quick early and... I got slightly detached, but her jumping kept her in it. And, um, you know, I actually knew halfway down the back I'd win because I had plenty under the tank, and in the tank rather, and um, she was jumping past horses with ease and she never missed a beat. And, um, you know, just turning in, I, I actually was going to go the wide route and I switched in and um, she's done it nicely in the end. Great prize for a filly, at 115 to, to win this. Yeah, tremendous. She was obviously very well handicapped when they... Um, when they got their hands on her and she's progressed and progressed and um, you know, fantastic job by uh, the whole team up there. Fantastic training, fantastic ride. It's been a good day for you. Obviously, you landed the, the summer hurdle as well on, on Too Friendly. He's a horse who's loads of ability, just probably better for knowing. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I'd say he'd probably get further in time, you know, and, and he's got a bit of size and scope. He might jump a fence. So, um, you know, uh, James Owen and his team, they're, they're, they're very, very good. They, they don't leave any stone unturned and, um, yeah, they've done a good job with that horse. Nice now, two big prizes in the bag, it's raining. You must be getting excited to jump horses back in. Yeah, uh, very excited. 160 in, I think, at the moment, and um, you know, plenty of exciting young talent. Um, you know, Paul and uh, the owners have spent um, a fair few quid through the summer purchasing new um, stock, and, um, you know, it looks a lovely bunch, so fingers crossed we've got a, we've got a few really smart ones in amongst them. Keep riding the guy, it won't matter, you'll still win on them. <laughs> yeah, thanks very much. Well done. Cheers. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.